bringing to the light, does that mean uh, that we have to confess <laughs> everything to someone? There's nothing special about one body confessing um, thoughts to another body, um, but there's something very powerful about the purpose that's underneath that possibility. Meaning that ultimately the, the best thing and always the, the thing that's most helpful is, is to take these dark thoughts and these dark feelings and beliefs to the Holy Spirit within. And that's the power of prayer. You don't need anything of this world to do that. You can just bring those thoughts and put them on the altar to the Holy Spirit and say, uh, like in this world we're used to giving good gifts, you know, we don't generally give bad gifts. Um, we don't try to, at least. Sometimes people tell us that's a terrible gift, but, but it certainly wasn't our intention, you know, we're not trying to do that. Maybe children sometimes, when they defecate, they'll come to their mother and father with a, a hand of poop and they don't, they're, they're so beautiful, they don't know any, they don't know that that's good or bad. It's quite a, it is quite a gift. They're really giving us a gift <laughs> because they're giving us something from their heart as an offering and they don't know that it's good or bad. They just want to give. They, they hand it to us. But I would say that um, as you go forward on, on this journey of spiritual awakening and you draw forth witnesses, the Spirit will draw forth witnesses, I'll call them mighty companions or holy companions on the journey where they, there's a feeling of safety that you can expose, like just like Sarah said in her example, there was, she was in a place where it was guided, the spirit was almost like saying, go ahead, you can do this, and then whoosh, the, the love was rushing in after she did it. But I would say she was following guidance there, and, and that it's not some kind of a a form thing where you just go out and you try to, you know, I've seen people, you know, in Mexico, what they do is they just put, a, they have a strong passion about a political thing or a, a project in their community, they just put a big loudspeaker on their car and they get a microphone and they just drive through the streets and broadcast their thing out to everybody. But the we're not talking about that as needing another body necessarily, but if you're guided, if you're in that, I will step back and let Him, Holy Spirit, lead the way, and you're brought people that have that love and that spaciousness reflected, that they can hear you and smile and laugh and not take it seriously, that can be a very helpful witness. But that's just a symbol that whole thing I just described is just a symbol of your willingness to give it to the Holy Spirit, which is really, that's what's essential. The form part, if it's given by the Holy Spirit, it's very helpful. If it's not given by the Holy Spirit, we learn from contrast when we share some private thoughts and it blows up. It's like we've just thrown gasoline on the fire. And before we had some simmering coals and now we've got a, a forest fire going because we shared some private thoughts. That's that's not what the Holy Spirit would have us do. So it, it requires quite a lot of discernment, but it's great. It's a very good question because we're all working on getting that greater discernment of what is truly helpful and learning to follow the Spirit on that. <laughs>